Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. For those of you that are new to my channel, I wanna say welcome. And for those of you that are a part of my Fab Whining family, I wanna say welcome back. Thanks again for joining me. My name is Crystal and you're watching Fashion, Beauty and Why. So in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining to you how you can save time and money just by doing this one thing. So if you wanna see what I'm talking about, stick around and watch the rest of this video. So currently we're at the beginning of the holiday slash shopping season, if not in the height of it. Now, online shopping has really grown to be bigger and bigger each year. And honestly, this year is no exception. So I've been in the fashion industry now for about 11 years and if you had asked me 11 years ago what I thought about online shopping I probably would have turned my nose up at you rolled my eyes and thought like why would someone prefer to order online and wait for five to ten days for shipping just to receive their item rather than actually going to a brick and mortar store trying on their clothes having a really nice, great relaxation meditation process, because that's what I get when I go to the stores. And then walking out with their item, like why would they choose to shop online rather than actually getting their item right then away? Nowadays, if you ask me about online shopping, like I'm all for it. I love online shopping. There are so many benefits to online shopping. I mean, personally, me, myself, and being in the industry, I love to discover new designers, new brands, and I love to wear things that no one else is wearing. And a lot of times you can't find that going to the mall. The mall has stores that they have all over America and everything is the same. I feel like if you really want to express who you are and show your personality a lot of times online shopping is the best way to go. Another thing about online shopping that is just so amazing is that you can cut out that middleman. You can order a lot of times from the manufacturer, pay half the price. It can be some of the same things that you'll find in a fast fashion shop, for example, like H&M or Zara. And a lot of people prefer that. And let's just be honest, online shipping has gotten so much better that you can honestly order something at 12 o'clock midnight and receive it at seven o'clock in the morning because that's just how awesome shipping has gotten. So the purpose of this video is to make sure that this season, when you're ordering online, especially when you're ordering clothes, that you get the perfect size every time. And I mean, you can use these tips and tricks for future online shopping, but the purpose of this video today is to show you how you can save yourself time and money by using this one trick. So what I'm talking about is this little baby. This little baby is going to be your ticket to life from this point moving on. And you can thank me later. What I'm holding in my hand is a tape measure. You can get a tape measure from anywhere. These are sold at Walmart, Kmart, Joann's, Michaels. You can get this from your local drugstore, CVS. Walgreens, you can get it from Target. This little measuring tape will honestly set you back about 59 cents, but it will last you forever. So this little measuring tape is special because what you're gonna do is forget everything that you ever learned about sizes and everything, and you're gonna solely depend on this little person when you're ordering offline. So if you've ever ordered online, you probably saw something that looked like this. This is a size chart. If you're a company and you're selling online, chances are that you're gonna have your own particular sizing chart that is very unique to your company's standards. Now a sizing chart from company to company will vary because every company has their own standard sizing chart. It's best to know what your exact measurements are rather than what your size is for say your number size is so that you're able to order your exact size every time you're shopping online. Okay. Okay, so now you have the company sizing chart in front of you and then you have your handy dandy tape measure. Where do you go from there? So there are five key areas that are important when you're taking your measurements to compare them to the company's measurements. The first one is the largest area around your bust. And make sure that when you are measuring the largest part of your bust that you are measuring yourself with the bra on because chances are you're gonna be wearing a bra when you order that shirt. So you wanna make sure that you have enough space and room when you're measuring around your bust area. Now, if you're planning to order a bra, 
the next area that you're gonna measure is right underneath your bust area. So it's gonna be the smallest area underneath your bust or your boobs. The next area that you're gonna measure is the smallest part of your waist. Then you're gonna measure the largest area around your hips. And the last area that you're gonna measure is the inseam. Now the inseam is the area in between your legs that run from your crouch area all the way down to your ankle. So what I like to do is put on a pair of pants and I like to measure the inside of my seam and then I like to measure that down to the ankle area, wherever those pants end so I can get that perfect measurement. Now if you get you a tape measure and you keep your little tape measure around, I promise you, you're gonna save a lot of time and money in the future. Also, you wanna make sure that you're measuring yourself at least once a month or every other time that you purchase online. Now, if you're purchasing every single day online, like obviously you don't have to measure yourself every day, but if you're purchasing from week to week or even month to month, year to year, I would definitely recommend that you keep an updated chart of your measurements. That way you can order your exact size. Now, if you found this video interesting, informative, or entertaining, don't forget to press that little thumbs up button. If you are watching my video and you're not subscribed, take a little moment to press that little subscribe button. And while you're at it, don't forget to press the alert bell so that you can be alerted every time I bring out new videos. Now, I am on social media. I'm on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, all under key words fashion beauty and wine thank you all again for joining me peace of love fashion beauty and wine bye bye <laughs>